Hello my friends, today I will show you a simple algorithm for attaching portrait in Photoshop. I use this algorithm for attaching my own photos. It's just a few simple steps. Let's get started. If we are working with raw format, our main goal is to get a balanced image without strong shadows or bright lights. I am working in Adobe Camera Raw. Additionally, we need to set the correct color temperature. This is a very simple task. I will not explain which sliders need to be moved. I am doing a simple retouch of simple classic portrait with good lighting. This is a medium difficulty. Open the photo in Photoshop. The first thing we need to do is retouch the skin. You can download the frequency separation action from the link in the description and double click to install it. You can also load an action through the action bar and context menu. So open the frequency separation and apply the action. If your photo has a color depth of 16 bit, you need to use a 16 bit action. If your photo is 8 bit, use the 8 bit action. We start the action. At this step, we will have to set the degree of blur. Usually, this figure is from 5 to 8 pixels. We have a folder and two layers texture layer and color layer. We switch to the texture layer, select the patch tool. And with this tool, we remove spots and pimples. And do this carefully to save texture of the skin. Some users use a stamp, some use a healing brush, it does not matter. The main task is to save the texture of skin. To simplify the work, you can create an additional black and white adjustment layer and reduce yellow and red values. We will be better able to see blemishes and pimples on the skin. We continue to work on the texture layer. Stop and switch the color layer. Select the Mix Brush tool and set the settings to Moist Heavy Mix. Then we start working with the brush on the color layer. We blend the pixels of the image and get smooth tone transitions. The main thing is not to cross eye, lips, we work only in local skin areas. It's important to strike a balance and not lose realism. If it seems to you that the result of processing is too artificial, you can reduce the opacity of the color layer. The next step is dodge and burn. We create a new layer and fill it with neutral gray. Choose a soft white overlay. Our task is to lighten the light areas of the skin and darken the dark areas. This will give us more depth. The technology is simple. Select a soft brush, lower the opacity to 1% and work on the highlights area. Then select a soft brush of black color and work with the shadow areas of the skin. On the internet you can find black and white drawing schemes. Sometimes you need to paint the areas of the lips eyebrows and hair. The main task here is to save naturalness and realism. We are expanding the range of lights and shades. If you don't feel like doing this, there is an easier way. We create a selective color adjustment layer, select white and lower the value of the black slider a bit. Glare appears on the skin of the model. The next step is to increase the expressiveness of the eyes. Create a curve adjustment layer and make a small S-shaped curve to increase the brightness and contrast of the iris. We need to work locally, so we invert the mask with Ctrl and I. Choose a soft white brush and carefully emphasize the highlights, but not here, but on the opposite side of the iris. Next, the color of skin of the hand is different from the color of skin of face. We choose the hue saturation adjustment layer, 
grab the color checker and click on the redness. Turn the saturation slider up to 100%. Then we select the color ruler and try to find the color range. We have found this color. Lower the saturation value and change the hue value. After that, invert the mask and pass with a white brush. The final step is color correction. In this case, I most often create the color balance adjustment layer. Everything is fine with this image, but for example, I want to make a photo even warmer. I switch to mid-tones and turn up the yellow and magenta a little bit. This color combination allows me to correct the color of the skin. If the photo is a bit dark, you can always fix it with a curves adjustment layer. Before and after touching. These are basic techniques for touching and each step of retouching can be dedicated to a separate large video. I just wanted to talk about my algorithm and I hope that one of you will apply it. Thank you for watching this video, subscribe to the channel, click the like button, have a nice day and see you in the next videos.